In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the original Xbox emulator, XMU, and I will be using Windows 11. Okay, let's head on over to the official XMU page. I will leave the link to this page in the description below. Once you are here, go ahead and click on Download for Windows, and your download should start. Staying on that same page, we're gonna go to the top of the page and click on download. Then over here to the left, click on required files. Scroll to the bottom. And we are also gonna need to download this file, the Xbox hard disk image. Go ahead and click on it and your download should start. Now let's go back. And before we leave this page, if you guys wanna check out the compatibility list, then also up here at the top of the page, you will see compatibility. And you can scroll through and check out what games are compatible with this emulator. Now, if you don't already have 7-Zip installed on your PC, you will need this program to extract our files. I will leave the link to it in the description below. Now I have saved all of the files needed to get this emulator up and running on my desktop. You guys can save them wherever you like, whether that be an SSD, external SSD, hard drive, or external hard drive, it's up to you. So I have the XMU emulator, my hard disk image, my Xbox BIOS, my complex file, and a folder containing a few Xbox ROMs. Now I am sorry guys, I cannot tell you here on YouTube where to get a BIOS, the complex file, or Xbox ROMs. But if you check on my Patreon page, link in the description, I will have a video there that will help you out with all three of these. Now we need to start extracting our files, starting with the actual emulator file. Assuming you already have 7-Zip installed, you want to go ahead and right click on your XMU file, go to show more options, 7-Zip, and extract to XMU. That will create a new folder containing all of your extracted files. You no longer need that zip file, so you can go ahead and delete that. Next, we need to extract that hard disk image file. Same thing, we'll right click on that, show more options, 7-Zip, but this time, go to extract here delete the zip file. Now our BIOS needs to be extracted and go to extract to Xbox BIOS, delete the zip file. Now as for that complex file, we're gonna move that zip file into the Xbox BIOS folder. Open your BIOS folder and we're gonna extract our complex inside of this folder. Extract here and delete the zip file. And inside of my Xbox ROMs folder, I have five compressed Xbox files. Now all of your games will need to be extracted to an ISO format. And to do this, we will also be using 7-Zip. Now you can do this one game at a time, or you can highlight all of your ROMs, and we'll go ahead and right click, show more options, 7-Zip, and extract here. Once your files are extracted, you can go through and delete all of the zip files. We no longer need those. And if you look over here under type, you should see this image file. This file type is playable in XMU. Now let's open that folder containing our emulator. And this file here is the emulator. Let's open it. Now when you first open the emulator to get to your settings, you wanna go up here to the top left and click on Machine, Settings. And the first thing we're gonna do is add our boot ROM. So let's come over here and click right here and go ahead and locate that Xbox BIOS folder. And the file you wanna select will be this one here, mcpx1.0.bin. Come down to Open. Next, we'll do our flash ROM. Go back into that BIOS folder, and this time you wanna select the complex 4627 version 1.03.bin file. Open. Let's do our hard disk. And this time you wanna locate that hard disk image file, which was also here on my desktop. Now at the top of the screen, you will see application restart required to apply settings. At this point, let's go ahead and exit out of the emulator and reopen it so that all of the changes we just made will be saved. 
Now when you reopen the emulator, you should see the Xbox intro letting you know that your BIOS file is working. Now let's go back up to machine, settings, and let's go up to input. Now I have tested a PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series 1 controller with this emulator, and all of those work. Any other controller you may have, you will have to try out for yourself. As of right now, I have an Xbox One controller and Xbox Series controller connected to my PC. So for my Slot 1 controller, the emulator has selected my Xbox One controller. And if I select Slot 2, you will see that my Xbox Series X controller is slot 2. Now if I want to change those controllers around, then I just come down here and you can select whatever controller is connected to your PC to be that controller. Also, there is no setup required. The emulator will map your controller out for you. Now let's come down to display. And for the back end, we're going to change this to Vulcan. I find that Vulcan will give you the best performance with this emulator. Now, if you have a older GPU and CPU, then you might find that OpenGL will give you better performance. If you get a lot of lag and stutter, then try OpenGL. For your internal resolution scale, I'm going to bump this up to two times. Now two is the sweet spot, I wouldn't recommend going anything over three because you really won't notice a difference. Go ahead and turn on full screen on startup. This way the next time you load up this emulator it will be in full screen. For window size go ahead and select whatever your monitor's resolution is. That could be 1440p, 1080p or 4k. In my case it's 1440. Turn on vertical refresh sync to make sure we don't get any screen tear while playing our games. Now scroll all the way to the bottom. Now for the aspect ratio by default it's going to be 4 to 3 which is the way Xbox games were intended to be played. But I prefer to change it to 16 to 9, which will allow you to play in widescreen, which is full screen. Now, in some cases, your games will look a little stretched, but I'm fine with that. If you don't want that, then leave it at a 4 to 3 aspect ratio. This option is up to you. We are done here. Let's go ahead and exit out of the emulator again to save our settings. And the next time we open the emulator, it should load up in full screen. Now let's go ahead and load up a game. Go up to machine, load disk. Go ahead and locate wherever you have your Xbox ROMs. In my case, on my desktop in that Xbox ROMs folder and I'll select Blood Wake. Now the game will not load when you first select it. You will have to exit back out of the emulator and reopen it. So go back up to machine, exit, reopen the emulator. And as you see, your game will start. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.